aka the Great Smoky Mountains. I feel it was a missed opportunity by someone to not call them the Misty Mountains. It's a gorgeous morning. It's like 54 degrees. It's gonna be in the 70s the whole week that we're here. We're fixing to head to the retreat hosted by Rebecca Farmer. I'll put her information. I'll put her information in the description. She's gonna have another retreat. This is our second retreat with Rebecca, and they're wonderful. They're very intimate, small group beautiful locations. We were at the beach last year, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg this year. Having a good hair day today. I had French braids in when I took them out. This is, this is what my hair looks like. And who can beat this lighting too? Like, hello. Here he is, man of the hour. Good morning, Gatlinburg. <laughs> we have this humongous hot tub over here. We didn't bring bathing suits. Well, yeah. you did. I, I packed you swim trunks. I didn't bring anything. But I guess we can just. I did that. We can just get in there, make it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Baby number three. It's for, oh no, 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 no! I think it's probably frowned upon to get in. I don't know. They said they drain it and clean it every time because probably people get naked in there yeah. often. <laughs> this is kind of a wobbly table. Wobbly man. Wobbly yeah, man. this height. Things should be wobbly. Well, I don't think we're about to forty up. feet off the ground here. Yeah, it's a very tall. So we have this lookout. Gorgeous sunrise this morning. There are shooting stars. It's been it's been very nice. We're going to Dollywood later this week. We can do all the things, but first work. I'm excited. Me too. Let's do it. I'm gonna go have another cup of coffee. Good morning. Good morning. Bonnie Blue. Good morning. Beckett's still asleep. Yeah. <laughs> the happiest baby in the world. Oh, no. Hi, Blue. Hey, good morning. Hi. Good morning. Cutie pie. Good morning. Say happy Monday. Yay. <laughs> Sweet girl. We are headed to, I guess it's a cabin. It's probably a cabin. Everything up here is a cabin. It's gotta be a cabin. Um, we're gonna have breakfast, do some Q&A. Oh, look, a golf course. Ken, don't you wanna go In 1,000 feet, Man. turn right onto Veterans Boulevard. Do we have time to hit the links, hon? Is that what they say? I don't know. Is that what the cool kids say? I guess. Uh, we played putt by golf and that's about it. We top golf is quite fun. Yeah, that's fun. I love top Especially golf. when you're wearing your heel boots. I wore heels the first time. And I'll probably wear heels the next time. Turn so, right onto Veterans I won. I did. <laughs> totally won. I'm very competitive. We both are. But somehow we don't get into fights when In we In a quarter compete. mile, turn left onto Teaster Lane. That's not always true for two competitive people. Right. We have fun competing. I used to be really bad when I was little, if I didn't win. I can totally see that. <laughs> yeah, that's my mom. I think we're both very self-aware of our, that I'm, I weigh twice as much as you and I'm twice as tall as you. So oh. if I beat you at basketball. Oh, uh, well, right. I was like, what are you going to do? Right. <laughs> yeah. Unless you can I'm levitate. To you. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a giant. Unless you can Turn levitate left your screen. But I mean, even like board games. We would yeah, play yeah. Sorry. And if I didn't win, it was a huge ordeal. Like I would, I would <clears throat> cry and smash the board. And it was very dramatic. I want to win. I can see that. <laughs> I'm a three on the Enneagram. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Continue on Teaster Lane for two miles. When we were coming this way, I thought it said Keister Lane. Hmm. It should say Keister. That would be better. That'd be funny. <laughs> Delicious. They're so good. <laughs> I love lamb. Oh, I A lot of people that make Starkito, they have no taste for real food. They don't want to eat. They're like, ah, oh, I just, I just want chicken strips and ketchup. Because yeah. <laughs> that's the only thing they can taste. But you'll develop a taste. So we got done with our morning session. We went and got five guys burger bowls, came home, 
and me and Bonnie took a three hour nap and I don't take naps. I don't know why I'm so tired, but we did get up really early yesterday and it was a long day. So <sighs> maybe it was just that, but I'm having an afternoon coffee because <laughs> I just, I am so tired. Probably getting up early four days in a row did not help. But we're going to head back over here in a minute and do our Monday Night Live from the retreat. We're not really sure how we're going to do it, but it felt like a good idea. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to go. We'll see. Have you had a good time already? Day one? Yes. I feel like it's been a very long day one. <laughs> but I've been up so long. And what is it? My hair looks like a bouffant when I put it up. And like, I don't know what's happening here. I'm having a weird hair day. It was good. And now it's like, because I slept on it, it's not so good. You don't like it? Hear about pillow? Yeah. Probably going to bun it button in. <laughs> What's it called when you play billiards by yourself? Nine ball? Uh, isn't there, there's one that you do play by yourself, isn't there? No. No? No, I think pretty much all of them you play against someone. Oh, okay. When you play alone, it's called sad alone. <laughs> this is, I feel like having this glass door right there Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's probably not a great idea. Probably not. <laughs> hey. guys this is Rebecca Farmer hello she is the I don't know what founder this is her retreat do you have a name Taylor can... it's a Taylor keto health retreat. retreat okay okay yeah so how many of these have you done this is my third one okay who were the speakers on your very first one it was actually just me it was just, it was just me and eight people and it felt big at the time mm -hmm. and then I went to 25 people and you guys how many is it today 30 Wow, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. I love these because they, they are small and they're intimate and they're always in a great location. So mm -hmm. we did Miramar Beach last summer. Now we're in Gatlinburg. Next year it's... We're going to North Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. And the speaker at that one is Dr. Kiltz, who we love. Uh, so I'm super excited. I, I want to come to that one. Yeah. I'm like we're overbooked for everything. I want to go to every <laughs> single thing. And the more keto gets popular, the more of these things start happening. Mm -hmm. We have to pick and choose. But yeah, I like the smaller ones the best. So why did you want to do this sort of retreat? I, to be completely honest, I grew up with an aunt who was very much in the keto space. She wrote a book and she did transformation retreats and I was her helper at times and I was like this is incredible that was like planting the seed um, I've always been passionate about health and nutrition I've always wanted to work alongside people and I love cooking mm -hmm. so it's just a blessing that I get to do it transformation retreat I yeah. love that because that's yeah. exactly what it is the ones that we've been to people really leave having felt that something big has happened they were a part of something bigger and they're so close to the people yeah. instead of the people are on the stage now of course like we see as we come and go we talk to people it's yeah. not the same as sitting down at a dinner table or in a living room and really truly interacting with people and answering their questions like you can hear yeah, in the background I was just gonna say, can you hear <laughs> how much fun everybody yeah. is having and it's just one of those things i think if you are going to put money into any sort of keto event obviously i want you to come to ours but <laughs> yeah but this sort of thing is you get your bang for your buck because you're so close to the speakers and you're so close to the other people and it's it's almost like you know the tv shows that you see where yeah they, they have the life change and it's like that without 
you know, TV drama, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the next one is, uh, what's the dates? It's May 11th through 16th. All right. And that's at Myrtle Beach and mm -hmm. they can find information. You can email me is probably the best way. Okay. I'll yes. put Rebecca's email and her Instagram and her YouTube channel. Yes. She has a YouTube channel yeah, now too. Yeah, thanks to Dr. Barry. And you've been posting a lot. I have. I've been watching, so Thank that's you. exciting. Yes. And also the biggest thing is that she's having a baby. Yay! So we're super <laughs> excited. And we're talking about maybe doing a mommy retreat at some point once this beautiful baby gets here because we love that this way of eating can yes. go from womb to where we are. Like there's no special thing that you have to do for, you know, because they're babies. They're just humans, yes. just tiny versions of us. So we're excited to do that too. So go follow Tailored Health. Tailored Keto Health. Tailored Keto. I always get it wrong <laughs> yeah, every time. So Tailored funny. Keto and Health. That's on Instagram. <laughs> it's your YouTube name too, right? Yes. Yeah. So I'll put everything in the description for you guys. If you want to if email her, it's the best way to get all the information for the next retreat. I think that pretty much covers that. I'm going to try to film a lot this week so you get a real good idea of exactly the kind of cool. experience. Because it is an experience. Yeah. And it's worth the investment. Let me just tell you. So. Thank you. Stay tuned. Questions? So if you have a question about low-carb, keto, ketoboard, carnivore, Vegan, vegan, vegetarian. Ask your question in the comments. Keep it succinct and pithy, but not laconic. And we will try to answer it as well.